Good morning, guys. Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist, and I want to talk about some modifications that you could talk to your surgeon about related to your sling after a rotator cuff repair surgery. So I've been treating patients following rotator cuff repair for nearly 20 years now, and the most common complaint that I get from patients is the way the sling kind of digs in on the opposite side of the neck. So if they had a left shoulder rotator cuff repair, the sling digs in, and the reason why, I'm gonna put this sling on. Uh, typically what's gonna happen is there's gonna be the strap that comes around the waist. There's gonna be the strap that comes over the shoulder from behind the elbow. This is gonna clip in, and what most of my clients are gonna experience is this part of the strap up here is gonna dig in real tight into that uh, base of the neck, the cervical plexus, all of the nerve roots. And usually what ends up happening is because this is digging into the side of the neck, certainly it's compromising blood flow, but it's also causing you to kind of cringe and, and tighten those muscles for prolonged periods of time. So a modification, but you cannot do this modification without talking to your surgeon first, is to move the strap from going behind the elbow to over the front of the shoulder. And I'll explain what that is. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this strap off. Uh, there isn't a lot of benefit to having it back here behind the elbow. The elbow should be relaxed, the elbow should sit kinda low, preferably the hand is a little higher than the elbow just to help with circulation. I'm gonna bring this, instead of around back that way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over, I'm gonna rotate the pad so that it's facing the right direction now every brand strap will pretty much allow you to do this and there's a couple ways to make this work so my arm is still going to be in the sling just like normal this part here is going to come over and what happens is on the end the velcro this is kind of an interesting class most of the time this velcro opens up into this kind of y shape and so what I would do is I would bring this around either on the bottom, um, the waistband, I can fold this strap over. I can put that Velcro back in place. And now this will attach right there. So I'm still getting the benefit of elevating the hand. My elbow is relaxed. My shoulder is relaxed. The hand's sitting in the sling properly. I've got it set up from all directions, but this is taking the pressure off the base of the neck and more bringing it out to the side of the shoulder. In some cases, if you don't like the way this is on the waist strap, you can also come back in, apply it right there. And truthfully, this is the most comfortable position. Now the complaint here would be, well, what if this comes off the side? What I like about it is for most like daily activities where I'm standing, this is gonna be in a good position. When I take a seat, I actually can slip that off because what's happening is the arm remains protected, it's still in the sling, the waist strap is here, and because I'm sitting, this is resting more on my legs than anywhere else, and it gives my other shoulder a chance to kind of relax. So this harness, where it comes over the opposite side shoulder, could give you some relief and maybe your surgeon says no you're not allowed to do it for whatever particular reason absolutely follow their instructions i just want to give you some options that i don't see a lot of people talking about on social media too much if you have other questions let me know if you want a link to the sling i'll post it down in the description of this video and i'll catch you on the next video